How to Clean a Water Hog Mat the Right Way Hello and welcome to Miller Mats. We have been selling and cleaning commercial floor mats since 1996. In this short video, we will show you how to easily clean a water hog mat, which is one of our most popular mats, and will provide you with a list of cleaning supplies we use and where to get them. Today, we'll clean a medium brown water hog fashion. Here are the colors that this mat comes in. Normally, you want to stay with the darker colors so the dirt and stains don't show. We chose a light color for this video so you can see the cleaning process better. First, shake off the mat to get rid of any loose dirt. Next, vacuum to pull off the ground in dirt. You'll need to spot treat any gum, grease or tar that may be on the mat. Be careful, do not use any solvent based cleaners. They'll cause the fabric to pull away from the backing. To remove gum with gum remover freeze. Apply the freeze with the spray tube directly on the gum. Do not overspray or let the product soak into the fabric. The gum will turn whitish. Using a putty knife or a screwdriver, chip away at the gum. You may need to repeat this process a couple of times until the gum is completely gone. To remove gum with an organic citric gel, make sure you buy the gel, not the liquid, so it does not soak into the fabric. Apply gel directly on the gum and let it stand for three to five minutes. Pick and pull as much gum off as you can. Apply some more gel. Use a small nylon brush to scrub away the remaining gum. Don't use a wire brush. It will tear the fabric. Use a rag to blot away any leftover gel. To remove tar stains, use Gojo Cherry or Orange Gel Pumice Hand Cleaner. It will not soak into the fabric. Pick off any loose tar that you can. Then, apply the gel to the area and let stand for two to three minutes. Blot the area, but don't wipe it or the cleaner will spread past the stain. Always blot from the outside of the stain to the inside so you don't spread out the cleaner over the mat. Use your nylon brush to agitate the stain. Blot again. Repeat this process until the tar is gone. Now that all the tar stains and gum are gone, you can clean the mat. Note: Wash the mat immediately after removing the stains. Do not allow the stain removing chemicals to soak into the mat. Mix one half cup detergent with hot water in a bucket. Dip a long handled scrub brush into the soap bucket and apply generously to the mat. Scrub until entire mat is clean. Rinse with hot water if possible. Make sure to rinse thoroughly. You'll know it is completely rinsed when no more soap is coming off the mat. Hang the mat up to dry. Allow two to three hours to completely dry. If it is in direct hot sun, check it after 45 minutes. Make sure the back is dry before you put it back on the floor. Cleaning supply list. Gum Remover Freeze, available at Sears, Amazon, Granger, or a local janitorial supply company. Organic Citric Gel, make sure you get a gel, not a liquid. We use Majestic Carpet Solutions Organic Liquid Gel from miscoprod.com. Gojo Cherry or Orange Gel Pumice Hand Cleaner, available at Home Depot, Granger, or an auto parts store. Detergent, Tide Laundry Detergent, available at the supermarket. Long handled scrub brush, available at Home Depot or your local hardware or janitorial supply store. Thank you for watching our video. Please let us know anytime we can be of service. This video is for general instructional purposes only. 
We cannot be responsible for stained or damaged mats. All video content is the property of Miller Mats.